Hi friends. If you own a Howard Low D whistle, then you're gonna wanna know how to change the tape that creates a good seal between the head and the body of your whistle. Um, Howard makes a great video describing this process and I'm gonna link that for you. There's a couple of reasons I'm making this one for you. One is because I was doing something silly and the other is so that you'll recognize when to do this. You could do this regularly. It seems daunting at first. It is not, trust me. So what I was doing, you know, you could shake the moisture out of a whistle, mainly something you would do on a high D. I'm not a fan of doing that in a low D, but I was silly enough to not think about the fact that there was this PTFE, as it's called, tape. That's plumber's tape, basically, um, creating the seal. And that tape is compressible, and that's why the seal starts breaking. So I was taking my whistle, and I would bang it gently on my thigh to knock the, knock the moisture out, not thinking that doing that was compressing the tape. What a goop. <laughs> anyway, so... As I was playing, I thought something's wrong with my whistle. And I realized that there was just a minimal amount of air escaping. Um, maybe I'm too sensitive to some of that, but I noticed. Some of the ways you're going to know is if you find that your tuning slide is moving uh, without you doing much, like you put the whistle in your mouth and the tuning, you feel the tuning slide slip, uh, or if you go to adjust it at some point and it moves too easily, that means the tape is compressed. All you need to do is slide the head off. And again, I'm going to link the video that Howard did. Do not use a knife or something metal to scratch this off. So you're just going to kind of use your fingers, fingernails, and you're gonna roll that tape off. Uh, I've done this a few times, so it's not really challenging. Um, it's not really challenging, but it takes longer than I want to. So, okay, so I paused the video so that you didn't have to see the whole 40 seconds or whatever it was that took me to take that off. So you roll the tape off. Then you look at where the tape was. That should be cleaned lightly. Uh, a microfiber cloth, just slightly damp, and you're gonna clean that. And I'm spinning the body, and I'm looking at it. Yep, it looks fine. Um, no gunk on there. The reason you're gonna make sure that that's clean and smooth is because any bumps could cause gaps. Okay, so let's put the tape back on and uh, <laughs> remember to put it on at the top of the whistle. The Howard logo is there. The If you have one of the newer ones, it has the uh, different tuning bits and the bottom of the whistle always has a stamp of the key. So that's top and bottom. So you'll take that Get a little bit of this tape here, and it's funny. And uh, the lady that did the video said you want a clean end, and I've got that. She said dampen a, a, a bit up at the top of your whistle, and then you're gonna put this first layer on fairly carefully just to get it going. Now when you watch her do it, she says it's fiddly. Well, it sure is. Um, so you get that on, and then, so if you have a powder coated whistle, my black one's powder coated, if you have a, then you're gonna use four uh, turns. I've done one already, and if you have a polished metal whistle, then you'll use five. That's because of the difference in thickness of, of the body. So that's two wraps. I'm gonna keep that tighter, she said, then third wrap, get to the fourth there, and then I'm gonna, I'm gonna cut
cut that fairly close. Okay, that's easy enough. Now I'm gonna just, you know, rub my fingers around there. Don't compress it yet. Take, notice the direction the tape is turned. Take the whistle head and just spin it on down to where you normally keep it. And then you wanna compress that tape a little bit. So you're gonna move your head around a little bit, not not rocking it so that you crack the head. That could be disastrous. So you do that. Then you've got this tape slightly compressed. You should see it's nice and smooth. So whatever direction you put that on, you can put just a couple more layers on. Okay. Get that. Oops. <laughs> okay, yep, that's one, and that's two. And don't worry too much about the tape. This is plumber's tape. You could get it almost anywhere. Uh, these are scissors that you should be able to get anywhere. <laughs> All right, I'm just going to snap it. And that's fine too. Now, I don't want to compress that other couple layers I put on. I'm going to take the head again and I'm going to turn it in the direction I wound the tape. Oh, that's nice and snug. And I'm going to wind that down to where I keep it. And I'm going to make sure that the tone hole on the head is lined up with the, the, the finger holes. And there you go, nicely sealed. So that's pretty easy. I'll link the video that Howard made that I think is really, really helpful. Um, but I wanted to show you, yeah, it really is easy to, to redo the tape. Uh, but I also wanted to let you know, be careful not to compress the tape yourself. And if you have multiple Howard whistle heads and you change frequently, uh, you'll probably need to do this more often. Um, I don't worry about retaping my head, my Howard, um, until I notice that the head's a little loose. There's no reason. Anyway, uh, I hope that helps, my friends. Until next time, this is Scott Shade. Happy low D whistling. <laughs>